Hey everyone. Um, so if you ended up on this video, uh, you were probably like me and you were interested in this bag and quickly realized that there is basically one other video about this bag on the internet and that's, I don't know, like seven, eight months old now. Um, so maybe you want to know if something's changed or maybe you just wanted another opinion on the bag. Um, this is the Peloton Asphalt from Life Behind Bars. It's a company in India. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm going to answer a few questions um, and explain to you why I think it's the best bag that I've ever owned. Uh, I'm going to pan over here for a little bit. So you can see the other bags that I've owned. Um, so you know when I say that it's the best bag I've ever owned, um, that these are the kind of bags that I've used before. Um, not like regular Jansport backpacks or something like that. Um, so I'm a fan of roll top backpacks. Uh, the weatherproofing is fantastic. Um, but compartmentalization is always a problem with roll top backpacks. They kind of just provide like big buckets of space like the the Mission Workshop Vandal over there. But it doesn't do anything to help you organize your stuff. So everything just kind of falls to the bottom and then you kind of just have to deal with it. Um, so right off the bat, um, and I'm doing this one handed. I don't do this professionally. Um, so I, this is my smartphone. So it's going to be moving around. So I apologize about that. Um, so this bag here immediately just makes this bag stand out from like almost all the other roll top backpacks uh, just because you can actually have room to organize your stuff uh, otherwise you're, you're left to try to figure out how you want to stack your things in these kinds of bags which go all the way to the bottom sorry about that um, go all the way to the bottom and if you want to get to something you have to go and dig into your bag to try to find everything. Um, so this bag right here, like I said, just immediately makes this jump to the front of all the other roll top backpacks that basically exist like forever. Um, bonus here, you have a compartment for laptops. You do have padding, it's kind of hard to see, sorry about that. Um, you do have some padding here. So I have my, my uh, Surface Book in there, and in the front you have another compartment, and this does not go all the way to the bottom. Um, it kind of goes to, I'd say about like right here. Um, so you, you have some cushion if you want to put this down on the floor where it's not going to bottom out and wreck your laptop. Unlike the Mission Workshop Vandal here, which has super thin lining inside, and it goes all the way down to the bottom. So if you want to plop that back down, it's gonna, you're going to damage whatever you, uh, you have in there. So yeah, you have you do have padding, so I wasn't sure about that when I bought it. So you do have padding right here, and you have two separate compartments, and they do not bottom out. So that's that's a good important note to, if you're wondering. And again, this compartmentalization is amazing. Um, like no other bags have this. I don't understand why roll top bags have to be designed the same way all the time. Um, they give you one bucket of a pocket, and then you pretty much just throw your stuff in there and then it all just sinks to the bottom. I, I hate that about roll top backpacks. Um, you have two additional pockets on the side here. These can get pretty tight. Uh, the more stuff you pack in here, um, so I just have stuff like my keys in here. Um, that's just for my desk at work. Uh, but yeah, I can fit other keys in here. Over here I have just stuff to clean my glasses, um, like the cleaning cloths or whatever. Um, the compression straps, I'm not going to go through that because the other video does a better job of explaining. But I have these kind of tucked away neatly. Um, and I'll expand them when I need them. But for now, I give myself enough slack to be able to make get them a little bit larger um, the few times that I have to pack some extra stuff. Um, on the side, more compression straps. Again, these are super long, so they, they're kind of... I mean, they don't bother me too much. It's bulky, yeah, but they don't like flap around or anything. It doesn't drive me crazy. So that's not a problem for me. Um, these loops, the other video mentioned that these are kind of cumbersome to use. Um, they're not so bad. Um, they definitely look pretty damn cool, and they're built really well. Um, once you get the hang of them, they're not that crazy to use. I mean, they are a pain sometimes, uh, especially at first, because that last part always kind of hooks on when you're trying to unhook them. But, you know, they immediately... It gets easier um, the more you use these. Um, I just popped it off, popped it back on. So on the side here, you have uh, access to the inside, the larger compartment back here. Um, and again, sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. 
Um, so you can get to the to the inside lining of this bag, and you can also get to the laptop compartment in the back. Um, but it's right here. There's a little Velcro patch right here, and if you check that off, you can get to the laptop without having to open up the top of this bag. Um, I don't know how useful that is, um, especially to get to the laptop compartment. Um, but for me, I ride my bike to work as often as I can. Um, so I do use this to get my shirt, like my clean shirt out of here to change without having to open this at the top. Um, so that's pretty useful. Uh, what's even more useful is it's on the other side, though. Well, I got an umbrella in there now. Sorry, let me try to find this where you can get some good light on it. Take off the strap here. So uh, for me, this is pretty sweet. You got, you got a handle here to kind of carry this sideways. Now why the heck you would want to do that? Um, well for me, the times I don't ride my bike, uh, when I walk home, um, I'm, I walk home around 5 p.m. Central. So the sun's hitting my hitting me uh, directly the whole way home, so my back gets pretty sweaty. Um, so I can take my backpack off and just kind of carry it on the side here, and I get some some pretty decent uh, breeze on my back, so I don't get all gross by the time I get home. But yeah, that wasn't mentioned in the other video, but I thought this was really really handy um, and just pretty damn cool. Um, uh, what else? It does come with the waist, um, the waist strap. I don't use that, um, but it's nice that it came with it. Unlike uh, this guy, which you had to pay. I don't even remember how much to get it. Um, the one thing that was different from that video is these little chrome uh, pieces here. These are aluminum as well, uh, but they are not black. Um, not a big deal. Um, I actually, I actually like these as just as much. Um, the one thing I don't like is this guy that straps uh, to your chest. Um, it looks pretty cool. It looks, uh, this is different from the video I think as well. Um, it was a plastic clasp in the video. Uh, but this one, as you can tell, is aluminum. And this is kind of a pain to get off. Not so much on. I'm going to try this one-handed. Um, not a big deal to put on. But... You can't take this off one-handed like you can't just like a plastic just clip it and then it just falls apart you kind of it, you just can't because it the the aluminum kind of hooks in there sometimes especially when it's tight around you and it just it just keeps getting caught in there so that's a little annoying um and the other fact is these little buckles are super loose so these these kind of break off all the time the snaps here um i get why they use the snaps uh, so you can take these off whenever you don't want to use them, but I would like something a little more secure um, Especially when you try to tighten them up and they just keep snapping off. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me I actually emailed them about that and I never heard back. Uh, by the way, I had this back for I'd say about three weeks now um, And this is the only thing that kind of still bothers me about it. I like everything else about the bag um, And I still stand by it. It's the best bag that I've ever owned roll top bag that happens to be weather resistant. It's not waterproof, but it can repel a whole bunch of water. Um, it does have a waterproof compartment inside. Um, uh, but you can't just like dunk it in the water and expect everything to stay dry. Um, little other uh, touches that I want to bring up. Um, these nice little catches here that keep this from flapping around when you're riding your bike. Or whatever you ride. Um, this kind of bothered me a a little bit about um, the mission workshop bag where it does have these straps here to kind of keep this in line but this kind of still just goes all over the place um, this one in addition to you know being able to loosen this you can just tuck these in real nice and it doesn't flap around like crazy um, they, I mean they, it just feels like they really thought about everything in this bag uh, you know everything is just designed so damn well you can definitely tell somebody who rides bikes um or just rides and carries bags all the annoyances that they go through they kind of took care of them here um because it's just really really well thought out um this little inner pocket here is really nice i just carry my id badge in here it's small um so you can't carry anything huge in there um you also have an opening here on the side and this goes all the way across 
I guess this is if you're carrying some luggage, you know, that little thing that slides out. You can kind of just tuck that on it. Um, what else? Oh, uh, the inside of the larger compartment, it's not black like it was in that other video. Uh, let me get these off so you can see it. <clears throat> I don't know if you're going to be able to see. Like, this lining here is black, uh, but the inside is light gray. Um, so I'm a big fan of that, because, like the other video said, it's hard to find stuff if it's all black in here. I don't carry much of anything in here. I mean, there's another laptop compartment here. I carry my shoes and my spare uh, clothes in here, um, so I can have a clean, you know, shirt when I get to work, because uh, I get pretty sweaty on the, on the bike. Um... Yeah, I'm going to make some quick comparisons to the other bags. Uh, otherwise, yeah, that's it for this bag. Um, it's definitely the best bag that I've ever owned, like, like I've said many times already. Um, it's a little big, um, but I'm totally fine with it. I'm big as far as, you know, the kind of surface area about it. It does expand a lot, um, but compressed, it's kind of low profile, actually. It's, it's, not, it's not something that's um, unsightly or anything like that. Um, when the straps are on, it's it's not any thicker than, you know, like something like this. It's actually probably thicker still. But it's not a crazy size bag. Um, it looks a little bulky, but it's totally functional. Um, I can get on the train with it, um, and I'm not, like, bumping into people like crazy. Um, so, yeah, it's not like a hiker's backpack or something. I mean, unless I pack it to, you know, to its capacity, then, yeah, it'll be pretty big. Um... But yeah, that's it. If you want to cut away from here, that's cool. Um, I'm just going to talk about the other bags real quick. Okay, so here's the beef I have with these bags. Um, now these two, uh, this is Mission Workshop. This is Chrome from Chrome Industries. Arguably the best, uh, some of the best, or at least the top of the bags built in the U.S. And they're really well-made bags. Um, I kind of like the build of this one a little better than this one. Uh, this kind of has a different feel of a material. Uh, not so much uh, the, I mean, I, I don't even know what the materials are called, Cocordera or whatever. Um, you can look it up on their site. Um, I just know what I, what I like when I feel it, um, and I like the way this one feels more. Um, this bag was a huge disappointment for me. Uh, Considering the price too, because these are these cost a ridiculous amount of money for what they are. Um, it's built well; it repels water really well. But like a lot of roll top bags, organization is is just whatever. Um, they give you, like all the other bags, a huge bucket of a pocket. So this is just one gigantic bucket that goes all the way down to the bottom. A uh, very thin lining. Surprisingly, uh, very thin lining. Um, I thought there'd be a little more in the separation, anyways. Uh, you do get, uh, here's the part that really, uh, chaps my ass here. So they give you these two compartments here. Um, and the separation between these two are hardly anything. I mean, they're basically, on the inside, they're basically rubbing up on each other. I mean, it's paper thin, the separation of these two pockets. But here's my biggest problem with these. These both go all the way down to the bottom, like all the way down here. And they both end at the exact same place. So if you want to put something in here to kind of help you organize a little bit better, and then also put something back here, they're going to fall on top of each other in the bottom. And then it'll make these pockets inaccessible because everything gets stacked to the bottom, and then you can barely get into these pockets. Um... So yeah, I don't understand why they give you both of these bags and then they both go all the way down to the bottom. It, it does nothing for you organizationally. Um, I actually tried to get around that when I first had this bag uh, to, to kind of help organize. I bought these, I forget, they're, they're, I forget what they're called, uh, grid it. I bought these things. It's basically just, you know, what it looks like. You, put, you place your stuff on here to help organize what's lacking in bags like this to kind of keep everything from just falling to the bottom um so yeah long story short i was very disappointed with this bag um there's no padding for laptops and both of these pockets bottom out um so if you try to put anything in there and you just throw your bag down you're gonna you're gonna bang up your stuff pretty bad it's built well um 
as far as repelling water goes. The lining inside is super thin, um, like crazy thin, like surprisingly thin. Um, I don't know, maybe that's to keep the weight down. Um, I mean, I don't know, whatever. Um, this was a big disappointing bag because it was just so damn expensive. Um, yeah. Uh, this bag here is my most recent. Uh, this actually worked out pretty well for me. Um, like I said, I like these build the build of these bags better. They just feel nicer materials. Um, the inside lining, that's what's up. Bright orange, like you got no problems finding whatever you got in there. Uh, nice laptop sleeve, nice thick in here. It's not padding, but it's pretty thick, and it does not bottom out. So you can put your stuff down, and it won't uh, you won't damage your stuff. So kudos to them. But like every other roll top bag, um, there's no separation or n no uh, no place for you to organize your stuff. You have the big bucket of a pocket. It's actually not that big. This is one of the smaller. It's not really super thick, as you can see. So you can't really fit too much in there. This is why I stopped using it because I got to carry my shoes, as well as my laptop and my shirt and you know whatever else I'm carrying. So I was pretty much maxing this out like every time I took it on a trip. Um, uh, this was nice though. I put my shoes out here so I don't have to put them inside the bag, make them all stinky. But then it's, you know, I don't know. Um, it does have a side, side compartments here for U-Lock or bottled water or whatever. But the problem I have with this, as opposed to the ones available here, is that when you stack stuff on here, it actually carves into the space of the inner pocket. And so it doesn't actually bulge out. It actually sinks into the bag, so you actually get less space inside the bag whenever you want to use these pockets. Um, so that really bugged me. Um, I kept, again, I kept it low profile and really lean looking. Uh, but it, you just had a lot of limited space in there. And this doesn't even give you side pockets or whatever with this bag. Um, and that's, again, another thing I like about this bag, too. Like, you stack stuff on the side here, but it sticks out. It doesn't, it doesn't eat away at the space inside the bag. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it. Um, my biggest comparisons to these bags and then, you know, maybe I'm just late to the party and the ship's already sailed as far as roll top bags go. Maybe it was already agreed upon unanimously that they're not supposed to have organization because it's for, it's a, it's for bike messengers and they just need quick access to large compartments. Uh, maybe it's already been settled and I'm just now getting here and it's something that's bothered me. Um, but I think it's just crazy that they can make really well-made bags and not care to give you something to organize your stuff in. Uh, unlike this bag here. That little compartment here makes the world a difference. Um, so that's it. This bag, you know, I'll give it 9 out of 10. It's got a few pet peeves, which I mentioned, that little buckle there. Uh, this one, you will have to pay $50 for shipping because um, it's coming from India. Um, now it's not like stuff that's made in the U.S. or designed in the U.S. and made in India for super cheap. This is actually a company in India uh, that makes it themselves, and it's a really high-quality bag. Um, it's just everything about this bag just feels really, really nice and strong and sturdy. And it just looks freaking cool, man. I really like how this stand bag looks. Um, it's also got little lot notches here, and I put my bike light on here. Um, you can put a U-lock there, but then it eats away at these pockets, so I wouldn't recommend that. U-locks fit just fine on either of the side pockets. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Uh, hopefully uh, this answered some questions for you, made, maybe made you uh, make up your mind a little about whether or not you wanted to try this bag um, instead of this one or these. Um, I would not recommend this guy for the price.